Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another pre-plan with me using my Boho Celebration printable. This is exclusive art, and I print and cut this at home using the exact method that I show in my printable tutorial video. I will link it below, but in that video I show you my exact method, all the supplies I use, and also tips and tricks like how to print directly on your stickers, which makes everything so much easier and looks so much nicer. I did a pre-plan spread last week as well, and I did film a video on that. That, I can link it below. It was using the Aura printable and you guys, I loved this. I really thought that the pre-plan style was going to fit back into my current life so well and it does. It kept me on task. It kept my week more productive. It kept my habits in check. Like I just, I loved it. I feel like this really is benefiting my life right now and I am so excited to do it again for this coming week. I picked this kit, Boho Celebration, because this collection has some add-on boxes to make it lots of different types of celebration. So it has a wedding box, a birthday box, a baby box, and a graduation box box. And this week I actually have two of those celebrations. So this collection was perfect because I can actually use both of them and celebrate both in one spread. James is graduating from pre-K. So we have his little graduation this week. And then also it's my 36th birthday this weekend. So I thought using this collection and having a graduation box on the graduation day and then having a birthday box on my birthday day would just be really cute. And I was excited to use this collection and I just felt like it was perfect. I think this sidebar is my favorite part of this current layout. And I think I might play around with doing a more extended version, removing one or even both of the full box stickers so I can add even more weekly and habit trackers. There's something so satisfying about checking off a habit. So at least for me, it's really motivational to get me to actually do them more often. I'm still working on the Hades and Persephone book series that I talked about last week. And I actually actually decided to read books three and four in tandem because I didn't realize this, but book one is from Persephone's point of view and book two is from Hades point of view, but it's the exact same story. And then the same thing for books three and four. I'm really enjoying reading them in tandem. I do think it's a little bit difficult to know when to flip back and forth between the two books because the stories aren't completely linear. Persephone has things that she does in her story that Hades doesn't have in his point of view because he's not part of it and vice versa. But but overall, I'm still very much enjoying that series. You can see here, I'm making a day extender for this box. The reason I'm doing this is because this is the day that James is graduating from preschool. And I'm assuming that I'm going to have some pictures of him that day that I'm gonna to wanna to put in here. So even though this isn't a memory spread, I still want to have memory elements in it because at least for this week, I'm not planning on doing a memory spread separate from this. And then here you can see, I'm cutting off just a tiny bit of like the outside of of a sticker sheet and I'm using it to tape closed this day extender. What that's going to do is it's going to actually train the day extender to be more flat. So even though the weight of the planner itself is going to over time flatten it, I find that this is a much quicker way to get it to just lie flat. If you just like tape it down, it just trains it and then you can remove the tape. You don't keep it there forever unless you want to, but I'm just going to leave it until the end of the week when I end up coming back and hopefully putting pictures into that spot. Okay, so getting into this week, I have it laid out the same way that I did last week with my to-dos on the top. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna put my hydrate trackers, the load of laundry I'm doing that day and the area of the house I wanna clean. And then the rounded half box is just gonna be like a big thing for that day or like a memory or a reminder. Monday's pretty much gonna be an errand day. The boys need a haircut, need to get groceries, need to get a gift for James for graduation. Also, Alex is doing like this big video shoot for an original song he wrote and the crew is coming in on Monday evening. So the actual shoot is on Tuesday, but everyone is going to get here on Monday evening. So I'm planning on just having a movie night with the kids. Tuesday, like I said, is the day of Alex's video shoot. It's also the day of James's preschool graduation. And I put on here to order ants with some explanation points. Okay, you guys. So my mom got James an ant farm as his graduation gift. He has been wanting an ant farm for ages and I've just put it off because to be honest, I don't want an ant farm. But I also need to embrace the fact that I am a boy mom and I will have things like ant farms in my life. Yeah, it's, it's fine, it's fine. But here's what I didn't know. I didn't know that the ants didn't come in the box. And I know that's common sense. Like why would the ants come in the box, right? Like, like how would that work? But with sea monkeys, they come in the box, right? Like we've done that with James. I did that when I was little. You go, you buy this set and the eggs are like already in the box, but that is not the case with ants. So what I've learned is that with ants, 
you have to mail away for them and they come in the snail mail and they're freeze dried and you have to like thaw them in a certain way and you only have like a certain time window before they like wake up completely and like start like going everywhere to like slip them into their little ant farm i'm pretty scared and then i think we're gonna take james out to dinner like a little dinner celebration since my mom is in town we'll let him pick he'll probably pick jason's deli he loves that place it's like not a fancy restaurant obviously it's a deli but they have a really good strawberry shortcake dessert that he really really likes then on wednesday the kids have their annual wellness checks i also okay so i put on here that i want to pick out a stroller wagon this week i don't have any sort of double stroller because by the time hubby was born i keep calling him hubby if you guys don't know that's my younger child scott he just turned two when he was born james was already like almost four he was a couple months away from four so he wasn't really using a stroller he's always been like an active kid he's always wanted to walk places and so i never invested in a double stroller or any sort of stroller that could carry them both at the same time but lately i've been noticing when we do bigger outings not like a walk but like if we're going to the zoo or if we're doing something that's more of like an all-day event james does get tired after a while like his legs are a lot shorter than mine and alex's so anyway i started looking up like different options that could you know hold both like a preschooler and a toddler and I think that a stroller wagon makes the most sense for us right now. So I'm gonna do some research, especially with the weather warming up. I just wanna go ahead and get it. So I put that on the list so that I wouldn't keep putting it off. The project of the week is going to be to declutter my kids' dinnerware and cups. The cups are out of control because we have been trying to find the perfect cup for my boys that don't spill but are also easy to clean and easy to put together because a lot of cups have a lot of different parts like they have like three or four parts you have to take them apart and put them back together and I am capable of doing that because I am a mom but my husband is not capable of doing that he's just not I found the most perfect cup I will link it below if you have little kids it's completely dishwasher safe it does not spill even with my crazy two-year-old who's like sole purpose in life is to spill drinks and it has a top that like is all one piece i ended up buying a ton of them i think i have eight of them and i told myself like if you buy these eight cups you need to go home and get rid of all the other ones that have a million pieces but i haven't done it yet so that's my project for this week wow i'm almost at the end of this video how did that happen thursday and friday i don't have anything special planned saturday is my birthday i will be 36 years old happy birthday to me I'm planning on just relaxing all day. I do have some printables that I'm gonna release that day, but other than that, just relaxing. And then Sunday, I have a play date scheduled with one of my very oldest and best friends. Been friends with her since middle school. She happens to live here now, and she has a little boy that's only a few months apart from my youngest child. So she's gonna bring him over, and we're gonna have our like girl time, wine time, girl chat, and the boys will all play. So going to be a good weekend i'm looking forward to it and i will see you guys later all right guys it's actually the middle of the following week this was last week's i actually haven't done a spread for this week and i don't think i'm going to because i'm already halfway through the week and it's just gotten away from me and it's just one of those times but looking back on this i kind of wish that i had done one for this week but anyway i'm glad that i did do a day extender on tuesday because i did end up taking a couple very cute pictures of james and i'm so happy that i'm able to put it in here isn't he so cute my birthday ended up being fabulous alex basically spoiled me the whole day he spent pretty much the entire day entertaining the kids and working on things off of our honeydew list all of the household things that he's been meaning to get around to but hasn't really prioritized but he knows makes me really happy and then he made me red lobster cheddar biscuits which are incredible and he took the boys out and came back with balloons and a cake and then on sunday my friend karen came over and we had wine and we had girl talk and it was wonderful and i think that the weekend festivities wore me out because i don't even know what i did for the last three days like i i don't know if you don't have it in a plan with me spread did it happen i don't know anyway next week i'm definitely going to be doing another spread but i'm just going to sit here until then okay bye